hello viewers and welcome back to the channel and finally here we have a comparison video between the hyundai i20 astra optional variant and the sports variant so the one you are seeing on the right side is the astra optional variant and the one you are seeing on the left side is the sports variant so let us start with the exterior and see the features that are available in the astra optional variant and the sports variant so here in the Astra optional variant as you can see here we get a LED projector headlamps and the LED DRLs at the front whereas in the sports variant you can see here we get a normal standard halogen headlamps and the LED daytime running lights near the fog lamps and in the Astra optional variant we get a LED DRL and the cornering lamp also with the LED projector fog lamps. So talking about the design, both the Astra optional variant and the sports variant get a new parametric dual pattern grille as you can see here and the Hyundai badging at the front. So as we can see here, the new Hyundai i20 gets a bold and the prominent hood character lines in the front in both the Astra variant and the Astra optional variant, sports variant and also the Magna variant. So there's no changes in this. So talking about the alloys, the sports variant get a R16 style steel wheel whereas the Astra optional get a R16 alloys. So if you are looking from a far distance, you won't really notice the difference between the steel wheels and the alloys. So but let me show you clearly the difference between the steel wheels and the R16 alloys in the Astra optional variant and the sports variant. So here you can see on the left is the steel wheels in the sports variant and on the right is the R16 diamond cut alloys in the Astra optional variant. So talking about the indicators, so both the variant gets the turn indicators on the outside mirrors but the sports variant does not get the puddle lamps with the welcome function. So talking about the door handles, as you can see here on the left side the sports variant gets a body color door handles but Astra optional variant gets a chrome color door handles. And in the interior, the Astra optional gets a soothing blue ambient lighting whereas this feature is not available in the sports variant. So talking about the detailed interior, here you can see the sport variant does not get the push button start and stop option. Whereas in the down here, you can see the Astra optional variant gets a push button start and stop since it's a top variant. And other than that, the major changes between the Hyundai i20 Sports variant and the Astra optional variant is the leather wrap steering wheel. As you can see here in the down, the Astra optional variant gets a leather wrap steering wheel whereas the Sport variant gets a normal steering wheel. And also the major difference in the Sport variant and the Astra optional variant is the cruise control option. Here you can see in the above, the Hyundai i20 Sport variant does not get the cruise control option. And both the variants get the same digital cluster with the TFT multi information display as you can see here. And we have the features such as the speedometer, odometer and the security alerts. So the major difference between the Hyundai i20 and the other competitors of this segment is the tire pressure monitoring system. So the tire pressure monitoring system is first time introduced in the Hyundai i20 and it is not available in the competitors such as the Bellino or the Toyota Glanza. So here you can see the touchscreen infotainment system in both the Astra optional variant and the sports variant. So the sports variant gets a 20.32 cm touchscreen infotainment system whereas the Astra optional variant gets a 26 cm HD touchscreen infotainment system and the inbuilt navigation system. And also you can see here the sport variant has some button whereas the Astra optional variant has completely touchscreen infotainment system. And other than that, the Asta optional variant gets a Bose premium speaker which is not available in the sports variant. And to talk about the other differences between the Asta optional variant and the sports variant, the Hyundai Blue Link with over the air map updates are not available in the sports variant and we do not also get the Blue Link integrated smartwatch app in the sports variant. So these are the major difference between the Hyundai i20 sports variant and the Astra optional variant in the infotainment system. So rest you can see the other features that are available in this sports variant as well as the Astra optional variant. So the major difference between the Hyundai i20 sports variant and the Astra optional variant is the wireless charging. As you can see here we get a wireless charging for mobile in the Astra optional variant whereas this feature is not available in the sports variant. 
and also you have a 12 volt charging socket and the usb charging socket in the sports variant the other major difference between the sports variant and the aster optional variant is the leather wrap gear knob so the leather wrap gear knob is only available in the aster optional variant whereas it is not available in the sports variant and here you can see the sliding armrest in the Asta optional variant and also the air purifier which is available only in the Asta optional variant whereas you do not get a air purifier in the sports variant and this is the sun visor on the driver side and the sunglass holder these options are same in both the sports variant as well as the Asta optional variant and the major changes between the Asta optional variant of the Hyundai i20 and all the other variants is the electric sunroof so the electric sunroof is only available in the Hyundai i20 top variant which is the Asta optional variant and is completely automatic as you can see here. So we need to press this button here at the center and operate the electric sunroof. So that is the automatic and this one we have to pull out with the hand manually and other than that here we have the lights at the front which is same in the both sports variant as well as the Asta optional variant. And here we have the passenger side sun visor as you can see here and we also have a small mirror. And we also get a cool glove box in both the sports variant and the Astra optional variant which is a pretty good feature in the new Hyundai i20. So other than that we do not have any major changes here at the front of the Hyundai i20. As I already told we have the ambient lighting here in the Astra optional variant and the Bose speakers whereas this feature is not available in the sports variant. And also the air conditioning is manual in the sports variant whereas it is automatic in the Astra optional variant. So here you can see the detailed view of the leather wrap steering wheel whereas it is not available in the Hyundai i20 sports variant. So talking about the race space here you can see the left side is the Astra optional variant and on the right side is the sports variant. So both the Astra optional variant and the sports variant gets a rear AC vents and the power charging socket. So here you can have a view of the front dashboard in the Astra optional variant on the left side and in the sports variant in the right side. So both the variant gets these lights in the rear side of the Hyundai i20 and other than that the major changes between the sports variant and the Astra optional variant is the rear armrest as you can see here on the left side. So the rear armrest is available only in the Astra optional variant whereas it is not available in the sports variant as you can see here. So the major difference between the sports variant and the Astra optional variant here we can notice also that the adjustable rear headrest is available only in the Astra optional variant whereas the adjustable headrest is not available in the sports variant. So now this is the rear end of the Hyundai i20 and in both the sports variant and the Astra optional variant we get a Z shape LED tie lights. And now let me show you the boot space in both the sports variant and the Astra optional variant and of course it will be the same but there are some changes in the boot space region also. So here you can see we do not get the luggage lamp in the sports variant whereas the luggage lamp is available in the Astra optional variant. And here you can see the spare tires that are available in both the variants. So these are the major differences in the rear side of the Hyundai i20 and also you can see the Bose speakers here in the Asta optional variant which is of course not available in the sports variant. So talking about the exterior in the Hyundai i20 sports variant and the Asta optional variant here on the left side you can see the sports variant gets a shark fin antenna and the Asta optional variant also gets a shark fin antenna. And here on the left side you can see the sports badging that is written and here on the right side you can see the Asta badging that is written. So we also get a Hyundai logo and the i20 badging on the rear as you can see here. So on the right side you are again seeing the shark fin antenna on the Asta optional variant and here you can see the fuel tank of the Hyundai i20 in the sports variant and we can just operate it by a single button and the overall fuel tank capacity of the Hyundai i20 is 37 liters and here also you can see the detailing work that is done here the i20 badging that is even on the tile lights. So on the right side you can see the camera for the reverse gear in the Hyundai i20 and as mentioned earlier the Hyundai i20 sports variant get a 
steel wheels whereas the Asta optional get a 16 inch diamond cut alloys. So these are the major differences between the Hyundai i20 Asta optional variant and the sports variant from the exterior. So here we have a small button to open the front bonnet of the new Hyundai i20 in the Asta optional variant as well as the sports variant. So to talk about the engine options that are available in the new Hyundai i20, so we have a 1.2 liter Kappa petrol engine which is available in the sports variant with a manual transmission as well as the i whereas it is available in the Asta optional variant in the manual transmission only. And second we have the 1.0 liter turbo GDI petrol engine which is available in the sports variant in the IMT and it is available in the DCT variant in the Asta optional variant. And the third is the 1.5 liter U2 diesel engine which is available in the manual transmission in both the sports variant as well as the Asta optional variant. So talking about the performance of these three engines, the 1.0 turbo GDI petrol engine generates a maximum power of 120 PS at 6000 RPM and a maximum torque output of 17.5. And second one, we have the 1.2 liter Kappa petrol engine which generates a maximum power of 88 PS at 6000 RPM and a torque of 11.7. And the third and the final engine option that we have here is the 1.5 liter U2 CRDI diesel engine and that generates a maximum power of 100 PS at 4000 RPM and a maximum torque output of 24.5.